The Rise and Fall of the Serbian Empire Bosnians, Croats, and Serbs are all considered Slavic people. Of the three, the Serbs have usually been the most populous and strongest group in the region. The Serbs broke free from Byzantine rule in 1172 and became an independent state. They defeated Bulgaria at the Battle of Hustendil in 1330, becoming a significant power in the Balkans. Twenty years before the Ottomans stepped foot in Europe, the Serbian kingdom was already expanding southwards. Stefan Dushan became king of Serbia in 1331 and oversaw much of this growth. Perhaps the greatest Serbian monarch to ever live, Serbian culture, influence and military strength reached its peak during his reign. One of the most important accomplishments by King Stefan was the establishment of the Serbian Orthodox Church based in what is now Kosovo. Though he made sure to stay away from Hungarian territory to the north, King Stefan Dushan expanded south into Albania. He faced little resistance from the locals. After decades of Byzantine civil war and decay, most of the Albanians were grateful for strong leadership. The Serbian Empire grew to include Bosnia and Herzegovina, Macedonia, and parts of northern Greece. Bosnia, which had been independent for about 150 years, first fell to the Hungarians, broke free, only to fall immediately afterwards to the Serbs. King Stefan, hoping to fill the power vacuum left by the Byzantines, took on elaborate titles. He soon began referring to himself as Emperor of the Serbs, Greeks, Bulgarians, and Albanians. Like most European monarchs, King Stefan Duchenne was concerned about Ottoman expansion into the Balkans. Stopping the Ottomans was the primary motivating factor behind Serbian expansion. But when King Stefan died suddenly in 1355, the dreams of a Serbian Balkan empire died with him. His son, Stefan Euros, succeeded him but was not nearly as capable. Stefan Euros could not handle the greedy Serbian nobles and aristocrats like his father did. Before long, the once ambitious Serbian empire fractured into multiple smaller, bickering states. This just made it easier for them to be swallowed up by either the Hungarians or the Ottomans. 